Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. Today in this lecture we will discuss about what is arithmetic mean. So, what do you understand by arithmetic mean? If I have given you some num random numbers, let's say 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 and I told you about and how to find the arithmetic mean. So, to write the arithmetic mean means the sum of all observations upon number of observations. So students, please tell me about the arithmetic mean of these five numbers which I tell you. So what you will do, you will add all the numbers, okay, and the total numbers are 5 1 2 3 4 5 so number of observations are 5 here so what i will do is this sum is 25 by 5 so the mean is arithmetic mean of all these number is i can simply say 5 okay so whenever you are asked to find out the mean of any number of observations you will simply apply this formula it states that in the numerator part you will write the sum of all the observations and in the denominator you will write the total number of observations. Let me give you some example based on this. So student this is one of the typical question based on arithmetic mean in which the question states that a batsman scored the following number of runs in sixth inning. So, the number of runs scored in first inning is 36, in second inning is 35, in third is 50, fourth is 46, fifth is 63 and 55. And the questioner asked us to calculate the mean runs scored by him in an inning. So, we have to find out the first the total runs. Total runs will be 36 plus 35 plus 50 plus 46 plus 60 plus 55. So you will do this addition at your end. I am writing the number as it is directly. Okay. Please do the addition at your end, guys. I hope you can simply add two numbers. Okay. So I will write the mean runs scored in an innings is total runs means total runs upon number of innings ok this will be 282 upon total innings were 6 so I can write this is 47 mean runs are 47 so he is a pretty good batman because he is scoring 47 as an average score in each inning so he is very good batsman from my point of view okay so students these are the question which might come into exam to find out the mean of any particular number of observations so i hope now you can simply you know, use the formula to find out the mean is sum of all observations upon number of observations so by using this formula you can find out mean of any number of questions okay and if you still have any doubt or any query based on this tip please do comment in the comment section students i'll be happy to help you guys there thank you happy learning